hello dear students so already in the previous sessions we have started the lesson reproduction in animals so already that uh, meaning of the wo word reproduction we have understood so the organisms they are going to produce their young ones which are similar to their parents so the organisms are going to produce the young ones which are similar to them so here uh, <clears throat> in animals already we know that there are two types that is the male and female so first of all we should know that how to identify the male and female so to which organism we have to call the male or to which organism we have to call the female so our father is male mother is female so father has the male sex and mother has the female sex so the father is considered as man and mother is considered as woman so our father is male mother is female so father has male sex mother has female sex and the father is considered as man and mother is considered as woman so here on the basis of the cells which are present in the body so these names are going to be determined so in the <clears throat> man we can see the male sex cells those are called the sperms and female sex cells are called the egg or ova egg or ova so the male sex cell is called sperm and female sex cell is called what the egg or ova so here i had drawn the diagram of both the male and female sex cells so this is the male sex cell that is called the sperm and this is the female sex cell that is called what the egg or ova or ovum so let us see in detail about the first one that is the sperm so before going to see the characters of this one we have to uh, study about the structure of sperm so here in the sperm we can see there are mainly three portions are there so this portion is called the head portion and this is the middle piece and this is the tail head middle piece and tail so as usual whatever the cell organelles we can see in the normal cells those are also present here so in the head portion the cell membrane is present cytoplasm is present as well as the nucleus is present cell membrane cytoplasm so this cytoplasm contains all the other cell organelles so this is the microscopic cell because without any equipment with our naked eyes we can't see this structure so this is very microscopic so this is going to measure about uh, Zero point zero five zero point zero five mm. That is micrometer. So zero point zero five mm. The size of this what the sperm. So it has a head portion, middle portion, and a tail. So head portion contains. the nucleus 
so here this tail helps it to move so this tail helps it to move easily in the uh, tubules of the or in the sperm duct so uh, the jelly liquid which is uh, going to be released by the prostate gland so along with this one it will be uh, it will become a liquid that is called a semen so the about regarding this one uh, we will discuss or we will learn more about uh, uh, the sperm and its structure and its movement and uh, uh, male and female reproductive system in the uh, 10th standard okay so here it has head middle piece and tail so this is very microscopic and very small this is this is measuring about 0.05 mm okay so this is the single cell this complete structure from tail to head it is only a single cell so that's why in the cell structure and function we have seen so the different uh, types of shapes and cells uh, sizes are present in the cell already we have learned so this is also a type of cell in the human body so this is the male sex cell that is the sperm and here the next one that is the egg so this is called the female sex cell that is the egg this is the egg so here uh, this is a, a circular structure or a spherical shaped structure and it is a, a covered with the two layers so among those the first layer is a, a jelly coat and second layer is the cell membrane and here we are we can also see the cytoplasm the nucleus okay so compared to the sperm egg is very larger this is a hundred times bigger than the sperm egg is hundred times bigger than the sperm sperm is the smallest egg is the largest okay so here this is also a single cell so this single cell this is going to be produced in the female so this is called the sex cell so this egg is going to be fertilized this egg will be going to be fertilized by the joining of the sperm and egg when this sperm come in contact with the egg so this will fertilize so fertilization means the mixing up of or joining of the male and female gamete the fusion of male and female gamete is called the fertilization fusion of fusion means combining joining gathering okay so here the fusion of male gamete and female gamete so here the sex cells are nothing but the gametes so these are the this is the male gamete and this is the female gamete so by the joining of these two the fertilization is going to take place okay so that is the fusion of male and female gamete is called fertilization so here uh, in the nucleus of the sperm and in the nucleus of the egg we can see a thread like structure is there here also here also we can see the thread like structure so that is the chromatin so at the time of uh, the cell division when it is going to convert into the zygote so when these two mix up together so that is when they fuse together one structure will form again so that is called the zygote the fusion of the result of fusion of male and female gamete is called zygote the fusion of male and female gamete the result of male and female the result of the fusion of male and female gamete is called the zygote so by zygote when they fuse together so they will mix up so these two cells mix up and they will form a single cell so zygote zygote is also a single cell okay so these are the sperms and egg sperm and egg so this is smaller and this is larger this is very microscopic and this is about 0.05 mm and this is about 0.15 mm so this is 100 times greater or larger than the sperm okay 
so regarding this one uh, uh, we can differentiate the male and the female organisms and their characters so how this fertilization is going to take place and what is fertilization what are the types of fertilization so regarding that one we will see that one in the next session thank you and have a nice day